Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you in this daily Hindu analysis video 28th of June it is and in the morning these videos come and in the evening the MCQ lessons come both these videos in Hindi and English are available and you should follow them religiously as I told you yesterday also you have to make your final opinion I'm just giving you all the angles of thinking and out of the box thinking is the most important thing in the UPSC examination nowadays and for the GS paper 4 essay topic uh, these opinions extremely important these will be and this is the daily improvement if you are following lessons religiously because experts are writing these uh, uh, details and they are giving you a lot of insight into that matter so things are adding uh, inside you and uh, you will express them in a concise manner so you have to think about these topics also so thinking is also an important part here so let's start the lesson and uh, these are important affordable courses by study iq and uh, created by top faculties all the uh, uh, the particular standard at the level and the dedication of this particular channel you all know and today there is an important article regarding coachings so we will discuss about this particular issue and uh, you will be able to see that uh, uh, which way you should con consider things here these are the numbers there you can call and you can uh, uh, do the chats also here on the website uh, the chat section is available and the PDF you will get here on this Facebook group and uh, you can follow me on Instagram also I will provide you the link of a telegram link and uh, this is the uh, link and uh, let's start the lesson first of the article today student prescription this is regarding the MSME sector important for GS paper 2 and 3. You see MSME sector 828% of the, of the GDP. So it's a, a crucial tool for the growth. 28% of the GDP it contributes and 45% of the manufacturing. Means half of the manufacturing is coming from the MSME sector. Micro, small and medium industry. So uh, they face a lot of difficulties like no resources uh, are available to them institutionally they arrange things on themselves and uh, institutional credit is always a problem for them and uh, unskilled low skilled but very hard working laborers they are working here and they are developing their skills out of the hard work only so they are very much sincere in their working and that's why without these great supports they are contributing 28% of the GDP so that that thing is so huge and here uh, the RBI is uh, setting up a committee and the chairman is uh, former CB chairman, Mr. Uh, uh, I, I forgot the name, UK Sana. So they recommended many, many things and they say that uh, we have to uh, address many issues there. There is a 13 year old law, MSME Development Act. Now that's obsolete. Many important additions are there. Economy is in a different phase now and we need uh, uh, different solutions here. An issue is that today the e-commerce is available and the supply chains are different e-marketplace you see they are mentioning government e-marketplace that can be a major major solution here uh, uh, in the near uh, past we heard a news that government is mandating the MSME sector that uh, sorry it, they are mandating the departments and the central government they are uh, and uh, they say that uh, mandatorily you have to acquire things from the MSME sector around 25% they need to uh, buy from them so these msme in uh, the institutions bodies and important uh, 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 small companies and all they will be registered on the government e-marketplace uh, portal if you do not know about the government e-marketplace in 2017 government started this uh, particular online portal where these uh, uh, companies and all they are registered and they sell their products to the government and the departments because for the, their day-to-day -day needs uh, many things they will be needing so here it's a important procurement portal for the government and companies and all these are registered here so that uh, departments can easily get their things there so uh, there is a government sh surety there for their uh, sale and uh, here when they are mandating msme sector then it's it's a nice boost there that they are getting as a support so uh, it is for the msme sector and they also mandated the issue of uh, procurement from female entrepreneurs also and mainly from the rural areas uh, which are there so these kind of solutions we need today and these are technology based solutions they are taking SIDBI here small industrial development bank of, bank of india because it is the major concern of institutional credit so that can be made available by SIDBI. it can do uh, uh, Im important uh, management here so that's the case so overall we will have bigger articles on this issue because it is not the smaller issue two small articles so they have appeared in the past now a huge article will be there in the next week 
so then we will uh, discuss this thing deeply because many problems are there in this sector but many opportunities are also there and uh, it, this sector is a major employer after the agriculture msme sector is the biggest employer so uh, the major uh, industries and all that particular uh, uh, the investment private government all these things they are a major hurdles and uh, we do not have this those many industries as this country needs but this msme sector is supporting that anyhow so in the name of manufacturing hub we have msmes there but they are mired with any uh, many many problems there so that's the case so we will discuss that with the bigger articles that will come in the next week next at the high table it is regarding the non permanent membership in the security council of the united nations you see there are five permanent members p5 and uh, there are non permanent members chosen for two years at a time seven times india has been chosen in the past since uh, 1950 uh, 51 and uh, now for 21 and 22 we will be there because uh, 55 nations uh, recently from the asia pacific group they are supporting us openly and india will need just 129 countries votes as it can get easily afghanistan was there who uh, had uh, bidded for this uh, particular post because it was its number and with the rotation also countries get these positions so with rotation we would have got it in 2030s but we will get it in 2021 because we requested afghanistan and afghanistan withdrew from that so that was the case here why that is important it is important because there are hurdles uh, in getting india onto that uh, p5 platform so no country wants to withdraw from there these five countries Ch china uk us uh, france and uh, russia they do not want to uh, withdraw in any case and we cannot even dream about, about that next on what condition they will uh, get a new country on board so if india wants to go there then uh, uh, superficially they they may say that uh, we can think about that but you see many many conditions they will apply because they have actually established their positions very much rooted uh, in that system because they have veto power so any kind of proposal would come they will not allow that if any country would not allow then that can that cannot be uh, possible so they will say that we will not give veto power or something like that uh, to any other country then that would be of no use and we need uh, similar position as these five countries uh, have but that is that is not possible for now so next uh, uh, turn comes for the non permanent membership and which are there on a rotational basis for two years we have got that already uh, in the past but again we will be chosen because this is a very specific time this is a phase uh, which is very much unique world is uh, going through a lot of problems tariff wars and all the growth is low and india is india's position is uh, uh, aspiring and we are growing uh, with a very fast pace very soon we will surpass bigger countries there so this time common problems like terrorism common problems like climate change we have many stakes there we have many pledges there so uh, looking at all these areas looking at all these aspects this particular time is very unique and domestic politics is also shifting in india and we have got a very stable position uh, politically so we can go for big decisions there so that's why this time is very very important 20 uh, 2022 22 year is very specific for us uh, 75 years of our independence and uh, many many uh, bigger schemes we have launched and we have many pledges in the renewable energy sector also we have many pledges so this time will be very much specific and today uh, the world is totally in a way uh, divided in two poles one pole is the uh, us uk and france we all know that and uh, they always go together on a particular uh, position and russia and china they are coming together and they are the different pole there and they are just opposite to each other's group so uh, that's not directly but indirectly that thing is uh, uh, practical today so here india would have its own unique position there what the world expects from a country like india that is extremely important because many countries are looking uh, towards us with many hopes some neighbor countries are also there so that's why this position is important although many countries are supporting us but uh, to get the consistent support is very much important and one more unique thing is very good here here you see despite the uh, poor state of bilateral relations with pakistan and uh, china you see uh, that was a kind of a wonder that these two countries 
they are very much supportive of india getting there at that position and without any uh, issue or tussle they graciously agreed to the nomination so that was uh, the uh, the most beautiful thing according to me and this shows that this phase is very much uh, hopeful and india should exploit this particular opportunity and uh, we can go with cooperation and at anyhow both are our neighbors and many problems are there but cooperation is the uh, most aspired thing here and anyway we have to make it possible there so that was the case this article uh, uh, was important for gs paper 2 and 3 both okay next democratic requirement this is a political article you have to read that one thing is very much crucial which is given here that uh, maybe many many allegations because of the political reasons uh, today parties are making against each other but opposition should remain during the times uh, uh, after uh, independence, uh, there were many, many suspicions, many, many uh, aspirations, but many, many, uh, uh, you may say, skepticism was there. But at that time, Nehru, who headed this country, he uh, wrote to some important personalities like Jayaprakash Narayan, who was choosing public service over uh, the politics. He said that uh, come into politics and play an important constructive opposition's role because without any opposition my government or uh, or uh, uh, for the sake of uh, uh, leadership me may turn into a tyrannous leader because opposition has to check us and without opposition and with this much uh, huge responsibility and huge power this may corrupt us means boldly this thing was said by mr nehru whatever uh, today's uh, leaders they may say about nehru and something like that but this is really a great from a leader and he is talking about himself or his party and that's what that was a really bold and uh, honest because he knew he was a statesman real statesman, a statesman and uh, very less leaders uh, have been here in this country after independence who have been like him so knowledgeable that person they may say anything but his decisions were really uh, great and uh, the way he uh, gave priority to the science and technology institutions i am aims and all these things are giving us the fruits today and that is why india is uh, uh, able to achieve that much progress after the liberalization phase we could see the result of those particular priorities which were made 40 50 years earlier so he was a statesman and when a statesman, he knew that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So a sentence from a person who himself is a prime minister and he talks about a need of opposition. That is something really, really great. And today you cannot dream of this kind of thing which is coming from a leadership. So that is really great. And the kind of uh, uh, environment in the campaign, election campaigning, the kind of people who are there in the parliament today, this is really a shameful state shameful state of affairs and they show uh, they showed it when they took oath this time so what kind of people are they and the kind of people who are chosen they are fighting on the streets hitting public officials and what not we are uh, observing these days this is really a rotten system but hope is always there they have to take inspiration from these kind of people and instead of mocking these kind of personalities they should learn from them nobody is perfect but the good things are always appreciable and any kind of good thing in any kind of leader we have to take care we can we should not make any person god in this country but we should learn any uh, person's good qualities that's the case and here you should go through this article it's a political one very important one and to give the insight into the political scenario and the opposition issue we have to understand that so i will not uh, go into these details because these are political ones but you have to uh, see the conceptions here next article is most important for us it is regarding the coachings area gs paper one it's a social uh, social situation it is regarding the population and the demography of india inequality in india so social problem gs paper two the management issue legislation issue important for uh, gs paper three the education issue and uh, the, the creativity issue gs paper four a very important social problem there an essay topic so it's it's a great important topic and a very relevant also you see india is a huge country huge population is here so much population that uh, the education sector is not able to manage the number of kids getting education there and the political will is so weak and they do not see any importance of the education sector it looks like that today and the situation is worse than ever before and the kind of leaders today are they do not see any importance of the education it looks like that 
because this they uh, uh, they bring many many claims uh, schemes and all but their education is so poor and their allocation to the health sector and the education sector two basic sectors that is really problematic there without political will nothing is possible and their political will is a totally uh, observable in the budget they allocate to these sectors india's higher education sector facing a major crisis higher education field is so uh, mired with the problems that uh, you can never expect even the least kind of improvement in your career achievement in your career and you can never think of uh, getting into a, a bigger position in life a responsible position like in life the kind of scenario is there in the state universities and the local uh, small town uh, colleges and all situation is really so bad that hardly that would be a miracle that any person would come out of those uh, educational institutes uh, in a glorious way and that would reach up to the best positions there in the country or internationally it is just uh, limited to a uh, a mini school number of institutions like iit iims iisc's and all uh, they are uh, uh, this is just uh, uh, taking the flag there in the name of uh, higher education and that is the reason that when the competitions are necessary there are competitions in every area and competition examinations are there for the major jobs and all and uh, for the smallest uh, till the highest position of the uh, government jobs you will have to face the competition and the the kind of uh, competition cutthroat competition is there the kind of matter they ask the kind of uh, questions are being asked the kind of uh, uh, depth they are checking there for the students it is really problematic for the most of the students who are coming from the countryside area small town area and the kind of uh, education institutes they were studying in totally inefficient these are so i am giving you this insight because these are the realities of this country and i'm telling you why this menace this huge problem of the competitive uh, institutions the coaching institutions is there in this country this article is talking about their uh, problems of the infrastructure the kind of ignorances they have and the kind of uh, inefficiencies they show in their working in their execution of their uh, uh, their work this is talking mainly about that and this is talking about the absence of the laws absence of the regulations on these institutions and the way they are looting people they are taking advantage of the uh, passions of the students uh, their uh, their particular uh, conditions uh, their poor conditions and their big dreams they are taking advantage of, the, of them so they, that is clear, clearly a menace they are looting lakhs of rupees per year uh, from the students so that's clearly a menace but i'm telling you why this menace is there there is a reason for that there is a huge reason for that who is responsible you have to uh, judge here so the students who are coming from the villages from small towns and all they have many dreams they can see the word internet is there so they can uh, uh, access the interviews and all the people who are achieving good posts and all so everything is accessible to them but what is not accessible that is the right proper education and the proper environment of the competition there back there in their hometowns and villages they can never imagine uh, because so many problems are there they will be stuck there and these kind of students are really rare who can stay there and who can prepare because a lot of knowledge awareness and control and uh, their own capability would be required there and the negativity should not surround them that's the case then only they can make it there otherwise it's a huge problem and that is the reason that they look for some kind of uh, uh, support in the terms of matter guidance knowledge and uh, to fight these tough competitions they need support for sure that is that is the thing so the genuine coaching centers some uh, are there some are there but they are minuscule in number one to five percent uh, uh, kind of coaching centers would be there in this uh, country who are genuine and who are really helping so that's the case fees may may vary because uh, uh, the kind of facilities uh, they provide and where they are established that's a different case and mainly they are in major cities their rents are so high so they will uh, go for these kind of uh, uh, worst infrastructures sometimes underground sometimes on the top of the floor they uh, start their coachings and all and that's the case and that is the reason that uh, uh, they uh, 
take a, a high amount of fees and all sometimes but it is only applicable to the genuine institutions who are doing some good job and who are shaping the future of some students who are coming from the village areas i'm not talking about the students who are getting good education in the good schools already they are paying lakhs of rupees fees in the school time so that is not the case with them but you see what is the problem the other institutions who are in a, a bigger percentage like 95 percent of those coachings who are exploiting the dreams of the students who are looting them and who are not up to that standard and they are just uh, there because they know the problems of the poor kids they know their dreams and they know that uh, they will not hesitate to give money or to arrange money for their coachings because they have high dreams and they believe on their hard work but they are innocent they do not know much so these kind of institutions which are actually run by some businessmen and they are hiring teachers and they are running these businesses they do not have any understanding of the proper education proper creativity and their responsibility in the future they just want to earn money there so they will arrange some teachers and they will run these kind of businesses so these are the problems they are not up to the mark they are not uh, educationalists and they are not proper educators and they just want to earn the money from these institutions these are the problems and for them this article is there so as i told you some support is needed because uh, you cannot get a high position there and you cannot drink, uh, think of uh, clearing the upsc examination with those kind of uh, 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 worst education system which is prevalent in the most part of this country you cannot imagine the matter is not available there even the nice newspapers are not available if you talk about the uh, the village areas and the small towns the nice newspapers like indian express the hindu newspapers they are not available online you can read that but that's a different situation but these are not available the yojana kurukshetra magazines the official magazines those are accessible after so many days so they cannot think of a proper plan there that's why they need to come to these uh, uh, institutions in big cities and all today things are changing because of the online education and all but here also many frauds are working so that's the case so what do we do of this problem and it is talking about the physical institutions which are uh, there and that's why we saw a huge problem that in gujarat uh, 22 students lost their lives in last six months many incidents were there fire incidents uh, uh, infrastructure issues were there and uh, all kinds of disturbances were there so that's a different problem now we will go to a different problem that is the problem of uh, non serious candidates who have enough money they can come to cities and they they uh, just have uh, this particular uh, aim but they are not serious about that maybe they are they are just want to uh, enjoy uh, they just want to enjoy there in the city city life and they have many controls uh, back there in their home and they just want to live a free life in the name of coaching there so many students are of this kind and they are not small in number they are huge in number more than 50% students are coming to cities uh, in in this way that they are not that much serious and they have no record of uh, sitting there on the study table for uh, more than 2 hours a day so that's the case so these students are actually bringing a bad name to this area and they are actually supporting these kind of institutions who are running their business with their money so they are actually creating a kind of environment there that is uh, making the genuine coaching and genuine uh, help uh, very much expensive they are creating a environment of ruckus there and they are just, just uh, sometimes distorting the environment sometimes they are even claiming that uh, give us this much money and we will arrange your seat there and we will have that uh, setting and all and these kind of things are evident in some cases these things are going on some frauds in these uh, in these uh, competitive examinations are going on and due to that many examinations are cancelled these days so these things are going on and these are also uh, some institutions which are uh, uh, involved in this uh, this kind of thing so more than ha half of the institutions are of this kind where these kind of students are there so you cannot call them students they are just uh, enjoying their time there because uh, uh, the success ratio is very low in the examinations and many of them fail so they have many excuses back there and they will uh, uh, give a nice answer to their parents or whoever uh, who is giving them money so that's the case so because of these people also this area is so that, that has become so a uh, big menace that uh, it is very difficult for the sincere students who have a lot of pressure who have a lot of economic problems and 
it brings a condition for them that is totally unviable sometimes they are committing suicides sometimes uh, they are uh, so stuck in their lives that they are losing any hope and they will spoil their lives and it, it happens with some most serious students so because of many frauds many non-serious candidates the genuine students and the genuine uh, education centers or the coaching centers they are suffering there and that's why this whole sector is bringing so bad a name that uh, uh, in the end there is a resultant sentence that end this coaching system this is actually killing students and this is actually uh, uh, spoiling this educational environment they are crushing the creativity because they do not know the creativity some genuine uh, institutions as i tell you less than one percent they are in number they know the issue of responsibility may we can take the example of civil service examination so minuscule percentage only one percent of them they know that what kind of responsibility would be there so they will go for some psychological help also they would go some uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, rear career shaping there and they will tell them that coachings are not good but sometimes they are necessary but you have do you do not have to be dependent on these things you have to see your own hard work and you have to shape your own career and that will that will uh, the real support there but those kind of institutions are struggling these days and these money makers they are running their businesses there so that is why it has become a valueless idea but what to do with the education system till the time that education system in the higher education and the schools so government schools then till the time they were uh, uh, that uh, standard education and the support would not be available these kind of businesses will always uh, flourish now we would come to the point of managing and regulating them shops and establishment act a simple act is there many loopholes are there and these businesses they are run uh, in the name of this establishment act not proper regulation is there there is no uh, clear guidelines so that they can differentiate between these frauds and the genuine institutions i again say genuine institutions they should be supported because there is a lack of in our education system that's why they must be appreciated and maximum number of frauds which are there uh, as i told you more than 95 percent are there they should be totally debarred from this area because they are creating a menace here and because of them this environment is so distressing if you talk about quota uh, and their institutions so horrible the condition is that uh, if you watch some documentaries uh, some uh, web series and all are there who are showing the kind of competition the kind of uh, horrible uh, way that is going on there uh, they are uh, uh, getting up in three four in the morning and sleeping for 11 12 in the night and consistently they are joining classes and all still they have a lot of fear that what will happen because a lot of cutthroat competition is there and uh, there is no safety psychological pressure is immense many students who are sincere uh, most of the times they are coming from a very uh, struggling economic background so uh, this is a really a hell why this is happening because so much rush so much population is there and they have no other option left they cannot go for a uh, proper uh, career in the entrepreneurship and all they cannot think of any other thing because opportunities are not available and about the government vacancies and all other uh, supports you see the condition there so bad this condition is vacancies are so many like if you talk about the is cadre more than 3000 vacancies are there but they do not hire and now they are bringing the literal entry issues we have to question the governments here this is really a huge problem and the real reason that so much tough, tough competition are there and that thing is exploited by these worst institutions coaching institutions there must be 3000 vacancies but how many they are hiring just 180 every year in the is cutter i'm talking about if you talk about banks post offices so many vacancies overburdened staff very less staff is working there but they are not hiring why they have not had no answer they have they have vacancies they need these people they need the uh, proper recruitment there but they are not doing that and in the name of uh, uh, state uh, uh, recruitment boards and all in every state you have the problem that they are not hiring people sometimes this paper is out this is leaked and uh, this problem this happened this this matter is going on in the uh, court and for four or five years they will uh, derail the whole process and they will not give you the job and that's why these institutions they are taking advantage here 
they will bring out uh, the false notifications that uh, this vacancy is coming so come soon and join the classes and all so these kind of things are happening so we have to be aware about all the problems these are the infrastructure problems and uh, uh, how they are uh, doing you can read the whole text there that is simply simply given but i am telling you the real practical backgrounds of those problems why this menace is there because the real question would be there regarding that background but that, that that is the real reason we have to identify the problem there and these are the consequences of that problem this is not the real problem this is the way of exploitation there and taking advantage of the loophole and this is just like any other way of corruption in this country that they have the opportunity and they will take the advantage there so that's the case so uh, whatever happened in gujarat whatever is happening in delhi hyderabad and all this is all the consequence real problem is lying somewhere else and we need proper regulation there for that points are there in the article so you can go through the pdf i have highlighted everything there and uh, the numbers uh, which are given that more than a quarter of Indian students are taking coachings here. Why that is taking, that is the real issue. Why there is a need of coaching. So that's the case. And the kind of level of competition is there, that is really, really troublesome. And a major reason, as I told you, why it is there. Instead of a thousand vacancies, they are bringing just hundred. So this problem would remain there and these people will keep exploiting you. Because 95% of the coaching institutions, they are frauds. They do not know the proper level and they will never tell you the real thing and there is no real help. They are just uh, creating an environment, uh, creating an ambience of stress there. That, that is the real reason. So I have highlighted everything there. You can uh, go through the article here and why this is a valueless idea. Everything is given there. But I have told you the out of the box thinking here and that you can write in the points. Next, NPA situation. They are uh, improving now in the banks from march 18 uh, where it was at 11.5 percent in september it came to 10.8 percent and now it is up uh, up to 9.3 percent there so the problem which was majorly with the public sector banks that is improving now all the solutions will follow why because the real issue was the npa where their assets were stuck now the assets are getting free then all other solutions will also appear because all problems they were there because of the struck assets. IBC is going uh, in a successful way. Uh, pro progress is very slow, but uh, anyhow, they are coming out of the huge uh, problem there, a vicious cycle there. So uh, by March 19, uh, 2020, we may have a decline up to 9%. So we would manage in the upcoming time. Now we have to think about a proper regulation, a proper management and the proper way and the political frauds should not happen. That is to be checked here. For that we sh must have many many rules and regulations there. So that we will not have this kind of problem in the future. And we have to be very much cautious about the business cycle and all the symptoms they uh, should be managed within time and any kind of uh, uh, pressure on political pressure on these banks and all any kind of bigger frauds and where uh, bigger loans are uh, there then no compromises and no ignorances should be allowed now this issue should be very much strict that is the solution and now now they are assessing all these uh, NPAs uh, situation that is improving anyhow. So this is a uh, major uh, positive turn here. Although it's not huge, but uh, somehow we have reached up to 9.3% from 12%, which was there in the 17th year. So all the scheduled commercial banks, okay, they are picking up and uh, regist registering some growths. So we may now expect something positive from the sector huge articles will come on this issue it's just a simple uh, symbolic uh, article there and it is talking about some numbers but the scrutiny will follow in the next week so we will discuss that there next government revamps wpi revision team why as i told you a uh, base year is taken both in, uh, in uh, the cpi index wpi index and all why because according to the base year they compare the situation so base year is uh, right now 20, 2011 to 12 and that was taken in 2017 year for the WPI wholesale price index. It is the uh, index based on the wholesale prices. So the uh, the consumer uh, price is not taken here as in the CPI. So that's the case, and it is uh, bringing uh, the uh, the the particular evaluation near to producers price index. That is a global practice, and RWPI it's an Indian practice, and it is released by the Office of Economic Advisor 
डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी एंड प्रमोशन डी विच इज नाउ डी द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रमोशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इंटरनल ट्रेड सो बाय दिस डी पी आई आई टी एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स दिस इंडेक्स इज रिलीज एंड सिक्स नाइनटी सेवन आइटम्स आर देयर इन थ्री कैटेगरीज प्राइमरी आर्टिकल्स फ्यूल एंड पावर एंड मैन्युफैक्चर आइटम्स सो यू कैन हैव द नंबर हेयर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हेडलाइन इन्फ्लेशन रेट इन इंडिया एंड इट इज रिलीज बाय दिस एंड दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट एडवांटेजेस देयर सो यू मस्ट नो अबाउट दैट एंड यू ऑल्सो मस्ट नो अबाउट द प्रोड्यूसर प्राइस प्राइस इंडेक्स that measures the average change in the prices of goods and services either they have left the place of production or called output ppi or as they enter the production process so there is a little difference between the ppi and the wpi because wpi uh, is actually based on the net traded value and uh, uh, multiple counting bias inherent in wpi and does not cover services and uh, whereas uh, ppi includes the services so there is a small difference that can be asked but ppi is a global practice and we are coming closer to it uh, by changing the wpi its base years and its uh, some rulings like uh, earlier when the base year was 2004 and 5 they were using arithmetic mean now they are using geometric mean so that was a kind of a, uh, uh, a change uh, when the new series of 2011 and 12 came in 17 year now because the base year is 8 years old so they are saying that uh, some revision should again be there like uh, 2015 16 or 17 uh, they they can take as a base year and that is needed because a lot of things are changed in, changed in the economy and they must revise it revise it every 5 to 6 years that is again a suggestion it is regarding the cpi also it is regarding the wpi also so this way they are revamping a team there and that will revise that and the ministry of commerce is taking all the suggestions there niti aayog is also uh, involved here in this uh, working group and uh, terms of references of the working group they are deciding here so they are revamping the revision team there for wpi so that's the case earlier also i have told you regarding wpi and uh, the important changes here there is a separate wpi food index also apart from these important three categories that's a, a separate category and that uh, uh, takes the food items from all the uh, three categories so that's a different index that was introduced in 17 year but majorly three categories are there primary articles fuel and manufactured products manufactured products is the biggest category where 564 items are there out of 697 that's the case next no plan to phase out an32 regarding an32 aircraft which had a accident an accident in uh, arunachal pradesh recently killing many of uh, uh, our uh, soldiers on board so uh, Uh, so sorry the uh, fighter uh, pilots on board and the crew members so now many uh, allegations are there earlier also some accidents happened and uh, some people from the families of the deceased and uh, killed uh, killed the pilots they asked many questions regarding an32 they said that why you are not replacing that and uh, government is actually going with some upgradation of it so upgradations are going on in an32 aircraft we have which we have taken from russia so now government clarifies that we will not replace it uh, very soon we will not phase it out we are going with the upgradations and all and the details i have to uh, i have given you 4 uh, 5 days back so you can uh, refer to those uh, lessons there where i explain to you the issue in much detail when uh, the incident happened after that i explain to you in a hindu analysis lesson next the osaka g20 meet uh, is happening it will start today and it will, it will go for 2 days India is discussing issues with US and Japan and uh, the bullet train that is funded by the Japan government and the economy that they are discussing simple issue many big articles will come in the next week so we will discuss there Trump also says that I will talk to Mr Modi regarding the high tariffs uh, that America says that on American products India is uh, applying there and that's why India is also so suffering and uh, this should improve mark uh, mike pompeo uh, also met with the mr jay shankar uh, two days back and now the osaka meet is happening for g20 countries so that's the case next lok sabha passes a bill on homeopathy council first in march they went with the proper uh, uh, ordinance for that and these were the important details because homeopathy central councils act was there in 1973 and amending that they brought this uh, you know, particular uh, new suggestion and they went with ordinance in march month but that was a rush because uh, the model code of conduct was about to be announced and then uh, they went for 
this ordinance on the last day so it was criticized a lot now rajya sabha uh, sorry lok sabha passes the bill on the homeopathy council they would establish a particular uh, sorry the central uh, uh, council regarding homeopathy so that's the case and uh, this is all for today we will meet again tomorrow and some details we will discuss discuss tomorrow as a smaller issues left there regarding the natural language translation thanks a lot keep watching to the mid send